Hey, what's going on guys? So today I'm going to show you guys how you can set up your Chromecast. Doesn't matter if you have the first generation or the second generation, it's exactly the same way. And also, regardless if you have an iOS device like an iPhone or an Android phone, it's the same way to hook them, um, set it up uh, with either phones as well, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and hook one of these up back to my TV and we're going to go through the beginning process and get you all set up, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and use this Chromecast, the first generation. Okay, this is I just bought this one. This is new. So this is my first time setting this one up. And again, both of these, the first generation or the second generation, you hook them up exactly the same way for both of them. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this. I'm going to use this one here, and I'm going to plug this into my HDMI port, and then I'm going to go ahead and plug the USB uh, cord here into a USB open slot on my TV. If I didn't have one, I can always use a wall adapter and plug into the wall adapter as well, but I already have a open USB uh, port on the back of my TV. So let me go ahead and hook this up to my TV. Okay, so I just hooked up onto the uh, back of my TV here. So the next thing you wanna do is grab your remote and you wanna click on input or sources. You basically just wanna make sure it's on the correct HDMI port. You can see obviously the only thing that's highlighted, it's HDMI 4. So that is obviously where my Chromecast is. So let me go ahead and click on that. Press on enter. Okay, now, so here's the setup screen now. And your setup screen might be a little bit different depending on uh, which Chromecast 1 or 2 you have. But this is, um, it's, uh, either way, Chromecast 1 or 2 is going to be the same way to set up, okay? So the next thing we're going to do from here is go ahead and grab your iPhone or your Android phone, it doesn't matter. And you want to go to your App Store if you're using the iPhone, then obviously you want to go into the Apple Store. If you're using a Android phone, then you go to the Google Play Store. And then what you want to look for now is you want to look for Google Home. Now, it used to be called Google Cast. Let me focus in on here. But now they call it Google Home, okay? So go ahead and download and install that. And then you want to go ahead and open it up. Once you open it up, next thing you want to do is click on this icon on the top right-hand corner right here. Tap on that. And give us a second, and we're going to have to add a device from here. Okay, now it says add new device. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on add new device. And now what we have to do next is basically go into our Wi-Fi setting and look for Chromecast. Mine specifically would be Chromecast with this number 4702. So let me go into my Wi-Fi settings here on my iPhone. Again, it's the same thing using an Android phone. Let me focus in on here. And now what I'm doing from here is looking for that Chromecast 4702 right there. I'm going to tap on that. Go ahead and let that connect. Give that a second. And while, okay, so now I'm connected. Now let me go ahead and go back to the Google Home app. Right here, let me tap on that. Okay, so now I went back to that same page and automatically found the Chromecast 4702. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on Continue. And now it says waiting instructions up here, successfully connected to your Chromecast. And now it's asking me, do you see the code on the TV V7P9? Oh, yes, I do. There it is. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and click on I see it. I'm going to go ahead and continue my region. My region's USA. And you can rename this as well. I'm going to keep it as 4702. Go to next, and now I'm going to go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi. Now, here's the thing. If you guys are using Chromecast, you need a Wi-Fi network. You have no Wi-Fi network in your home, in your office, and you're not going to be able to use Chromecast, period. Okay, so let me go ahead and connect to my home network here. Okay, I inputted my password. Let me go ahead and click on continue here. And if, you have, if you're using a Chromecast 2, you can connect to a 5 gigahertz network if your router supports that, which most routers nowadays do. If you, only, if you have the Chromecast 1, you're only able to connect to the uh, 2.4 gigahertz, okay? But if you have the Chromecast 2, you have the choice. You can connect to either or. Okay, so now it says ready to cast. Give it a second. Let this uh, update here. Okay, we're just about done. It's at 100% right now. Okay, so now it says, hang on a second. The Chromecast needs to re reboot to apply the update. Okay, so it's uh, booting back up here now. Okay. 
Okay, it's done updating now. Wait for this to turn back on. Okay, so we're gonna be in business here in one moment and let me go ahead and play a YouTube video and I'll show you what to look for if you want to uh, cast like a uh, YouTube or like Netflix or some apps and I'll give you some information regarding the uh, iPhone versus the Android as well uh, in one second. All right, looks like we are in business finally. So let me just really fast. Let me just go into uh, YouTube here and I'll uh, go ahead and cast something, okay? So let me look for YouTube here. All right, so here is YouTube. Let me tap on YouTube here. Okay, now every time you open these apps up, like, uh, I mean, Google, the Google Chromecast supports a lot of apps, uh, Netflix, uh, YouTube. There's some games and stuff like that. Now, if you ever want to cast something, basically stream it, like I just opened up YouTube. You can see this. this is what you call a casting icon. So I'm just going to tap on that. Oops, let me tap on that again. And I'm going to connect. Okay, it's automatically connecting. Okay, a lot of other times you're going to have to actually choose it. Okay, so now this is what you call casting or basically streaming. Now this is there's a difference between like uh, um, uh, screen mirroring or airplay. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm basically casting. Okay, so give us a second, just watch this video here. And again, this is the same thing with the Android as well. And I can increase and decrease the volume. Hey, what's up, and so basically I, um, just the volume, the audio, everything comes out directly from the TV as well. Okay, so let me just press on pause here okay so the thing is um you know one important thing between like the iphones and, and androids the iphones and androids you know you're able to cast using this casting icon on certain apps and things like that however if you want to show like your local um fo your photos and videos presentations pdfs that you have stored locally the only way you can do that is if you airplay it on your iphone but the iphone you cannot airplay in other words you cannot screen mirror so you cannot show your photos and video stored locally however if you're on an android phone uh, most android phones you will be able to screen mirror so this way you can also show all your uh, everything that's on your phone um, what's going to be mirrored onto the tv you know it, even your photos and your your videos your presentations your pdfs you'll be able to project that onto the um, the big screen so that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions or anything like that uh, just comment below all right thanks for watching bye